ladies and gentlemen, Mike Pillow, who's now sitting in his foyer again in Minneapolis. Um, I guess it's so that if the FBI kicks his door down um, like they've never done, um, he can be right there and, you know, open it up, let him in. Or he just likes the acoustics. Um, but Mike Pillow is uh, mad at Sean Hannity. Okay, Still. Mike uh, Lindell, I got limited time. I got okay. I got the Hill newspaper saying that Carrie Lake is destroying her brand by continuing on the appellate thing. At the same time, Abe Hamaday, they get they get a, a short check on some votes. He's now. By the way, she Carrie Lake is not destroying anything, any of her her legacy or her brand. She doesn't have one. She's a fucking lunatic. That ship has sailed. Nobody cares. Uh, uh, Two hundred votes down. What, two and a half million cast? They haven't let the other counties even check any of the ballots or in Maricopa <coughs> County. It's completely rigged. And Katie Hobbs suppressed the information. You've got Axios coming up now and saying, hey, guess what? Lindell and Bannon are right. The, the order of battle is Arizona, Georgia, Wisconsin, and Pennsylvania in 2020. New election frontier shakeup 2024 map. The 24 election will be fought on a very different battlefield than the last one with old reliable swing states no longer in play and new ones taking center stage. Yeah, that was the... That's the lesson that Trump learned the hard way. The assumption, he was like, if you win Florida and Ohio, you're in. Because that's how it used to be in the late 80s and early 90s. 24. And they're not quoting these motherfuckers. They're not going Bannon and, and Lindell, they got it nailed or whatever. Like, this is just true. Sir, you more than any individual in this nation. Have wasted your money and your reputation and your business and uh, what few brain, brain cells you have left. I put more of your time, your effort, and about $40 million in money. And as we showed in our economic analysis, the worst total returns, $10 trillion in wealth of this audience wiped out $10 trillion. <laughs> no, the audience of the Bannon War Room does not have $10 trillion worth of net worth. As shown by the Financial Times of London, the worst total returns on stocks and bonds in this nation since 1871 when they started keeping records. Elections have consequences. But first of all, shifts by percentage because of the sheer number of, of available stocks and the volume of shares that are out there. Shut the fuck up. Stolen elections have catastrophic consequences. Mike Lindell, are you backing off one inch that the 2020 election was stolen and now in high relief, the four most controversial states in those elections are now the central battleground, and you understand why they got to steal it from Kerry Lake, sir. They don't have to steal it, stupid. That's the point. That these are the these are the states that will get the most attention because they can go either way. That's what a swing state is. After so much attention on uh, on Florida and Ohio in particular, there is no swing there anymore. The Republicans' strategy was. It, the perception is if you win those two, you win the rest of it. And it helped us get over the hump, uh, especially with Jeb running things in Florida in, in Bush v. Gore. So if we just hang on to those and turn them red and focus our attention entirely on those states, eventually the assumption will be that because we took those two states, we must take the rest of the country. That did not end up being true. And it became even less true after Trump's 2016. Uh, absolutely. You're spot on. And they're spot on with those four states. Actually, you know, they're, like I've said before, we have to melt down the electronic voting machines and turn them into prison bars. They're made out of plastic, largely. I don't know how good plastic prison bars are going to do you, dipshit. Why don't you just use straws? But that, uh, but I will say, if we start with Arizona, we are so far ahead of the game. We need to melt down Arizona and turn it into prison bars. There we have our preliminary injunction that you get rid of the machines there that's going to the Supreme Court. No, it is not. Uh, you have the Cary Lake appeal that just came out today. She doesn't appeal to anyone, especially with her filter turned off. So we're go that's a huge battle going on there, and it's not mm. going to go away. We are going to win they that wanted, battle. But they want to... The no, you're not. All the all the McCain Democrats and consultants are in the Hill newspaper saying she's got to stop or she's going to ruin her brand, Mike Lindell. Uh, she doesn't have a brand, and uh, except for she's an asshole and a sore loser. So this is totally on brand. This just means she's got no future in the party. Well, they're wrong. <laughs> they don't know how to brand. I think I know a little bit about branding. They're just dead wrong. They're 100% wrong. Yes. I, I, it, he totally knows a lot about branding. The guy who had... Uh, prime real estate in Walmart and ended up getting kicked out. 
You fucked up my pillow as a brand. They're the ones that, you know, you can add them to the uh, this cabal behind all this. This is, uh, they are wrong. Not even 99%, 100% wrong. That's it. It's, what was the last 1%? What was the tipping point for you there? Carrie Lake needs to keep going. She's a fighter and she's, we are going to win this. Well, she's not a lover or a thinker. That's for sure. We are going to win. Arizona is as red as can be, everybody. Well, it's hot, but that's not the same thing. You can't go by temperature. This is what they want you to see. Or as my sister would say when we were little, temperature per. It's what they want to tell you. Now is there any doubt? Is there any doubt in your is there any doubt in your mind that Abe Hamaday, uh, Blake Man Abe Froman, the sausage king of Chicago, Esters and Carrie Lake won in Arizona, sir? Any doubt? Well, of course not. He's a lunatic. Not well, one bit, <coughs> not one doubt. And Mark Fincham. Mark Fincham won too. They all won. They all Everybody won. They're all winners. They're the losers are winners. The winners are the new losers. Up is down. Black is white. Uh, uh, lying is the new truth. Won by landslides, and this was yeah, of course. Don't have any proof of that, but just take my word for it. It's always worked out before. It was all done. It was stolen, just like the 2020 election. Just like a lot of them were stolen in the primaries. Oh, so they weren't at all because those weren't. So if it was like those, oh, just God. like in. Uh, and then in these midterms, and this was all happened all over our country. This, all over. this country is so red right now that we're actually that's why you see this article where they're they're going to give up on Texas and Florida and all these states. Well, they're redder than ever, can, redder than red, even more red than they think they're red. Oh, and, oh uh, Ohio, yeah. Ohio too. Yeah, Ohio, yeah. But I want to go up to Wisconsin. I want to quick get through the four. You get mm -hmm. up to Wisconsin, and they have more evidence in Wisconsin than any other state. Uh, yes, because zero times zero is zero. Uh, the Supreme Court of Wisconsin said it was massive fraud. Uh, you just had a blocker up there by the name of Robin Voss who did more blocking, almost as bad as Brad Rasenberger from uh, Georgia. Mm, these Republicans who are blocking Republicans from getting their votes counted. I, I'm beginning to think it would be a bad idea to let Republicans run anything since they spend all their time infighting and stealing from each other. I don't get it. I this just you're not selling me on the idea that they should run the most important country and the greatest country that's ever existed on the planet. Right. If if Republicans are this shitty to each other, why the fuck would anybody want them in office? Republicans included? Are you stupid? Um, <coughs> but in Wisconsin, remember, there's three million more um, people or their names on the voter rolls than there are registered voters that could that could legally register in the state of Wisconsin. No, that's not even close to true. That's just gibberish. Seven point four million names, four point one million people that could act, even if they all registered, Steve. That's got to be cleaned up, and we're working very hard on the on the laws in Wisconsin. We're we're not we're we're fighting there like you wouldn't believe. No, I, yeah, I don't believe you're actually fighting. I think you're making a lot of phone calls and showing up at like little fundraisery things and hanging out with other uh, like-minded assholes, but you're not actually fighting because it's not actually going to change anything. And if you bothered to even look, if there was a real fight going on and you were in the ring, as it were, trading punches, you would recognize that you you had nothing. That your block was shit. Your your hook was terrible. Your 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 leading foot was wobbly, and uh, quite frankly, that a lot of the people you're talking about that were registered didn't vote because they were dead and had been for a while, and it just hadn't been broomed off because they hadn't, you know, they hadn't been dead for two election cycles, or they hadn't had a relative go, please take their name off the voting rolls because they're dead, um, or they were military and serving overseas, which there's a lot of that in red states. So one of the reasons why these assholes freak out about a lot of red state voters that they think are voting from outside the state are both A, if you have any money or any wherewithal, you're going to send your kid, if you're in a red state, to a blue state, more than likely, to a better college or university. Or they're going to serve in the military and they're going to be overseas or at another base in another part of the country, but they're still going to vote from at home. Now let's switch over to Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania, they once again had more votes than voters. I mean... No, they didn't. I, mean, I don't know what's wrong with Pennsylvania that they... By the way, this asshole, specifically in Pennsylvania and Wisconsin, he, he also makes the case that if you voted in the primary and you voted in the general, you didn't, you're not one person who voted twice because you have a vote in a primary and you have a vote in a general. You're two people. You're two human beings. You are two separate human beings.
That's what he really thinks. They look at who voted in the primary and who voted in the general, and they stack those numbers together. It's the dumbest fucking thing. We watched him do it on his cyberama. They can't see through their... I, I guess it's kind of like shame on Fox. Uh, if Fox would start reporting these things, the, the public would know about it. You can't turn in your electors with more votes than voters. I mean... Right, and, and they didn't. This is just the most... I, hold on, I hold, hold on, hold on, hang on, whoa, 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 the, the, all the stuff that's leaking out, your your buddy, your bestie, Sean Hannity, is the first guy to say, Mike Lindell is totally off, I love Mike Lindell, he makes a great pillow, but he's way off base on all this election stuff, your response, sir. Well, first of all, don't call my bestie, it's about as opposite of bestie as you can get. Um Wow, what's the opposite of bestie? It's been a long time since I've been in middle school. Sean Hannity, I, over a year and a half ago when I was at his house, he told my gal, he said, uh, uh, don't you care about him? They're going to come after him. He needs to drop this election stuff. And, and, he, and I said... So you're telling us he was being honest at his deposition when he said he didn't believe it. And he was trying to help you, but you're too fucking stupid. Sean, you know the elections were stolen. He goes, yeah, but he can't report it on Fox. They said, you've done more damage. I'm pretty sure that's not what he said. To our country by not being able to report things. I am not sheet pants. Watch it. Hal Sparks is Mike Pillow's bestie. Uh, well, if your bestie is the person that tells you the uncomfortable truth, you might have something there, sheet pants. About the, the vaccines or the machines or the elections, for that matter. And Sean says, but just think if we weren't here at all. I said we'd be a lot better off, Sean, because if you if the people trust Fox News and you're not and it's not getting reported to people, it's shameful. Steve, when I go around this country and I see people that feel hopeless where this country is going, I ask him one question. You've been watching Fox. That's all you watch to get your information. And they well, they certainly aren't watching my show because I fill people with lots of hope. I'm just saying. My stoic optimism is good for what ails you. It'll pearl your teeth, curl your hair, and give your tongue a sleigh ride. They all say yes. I said, you need to watch anything but Fox out there. You need to, you know. Hi, trolls. Welcome. I guess uh, you're here because Mike Pillow told you to watch this. Gleam. Somebody put a gleam on this. Oh, I work alone. Never mind. America's voice, Frank's speech. You need to get, you need to, Lindell TV. They need, and all. Oh, by the way, all the same shows. All social media platforms where the word's getting out now. And, uh, you know, you get to, pay, then things like the nonsense that goes on in Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania is completely red. I don't care if they say, oh, there's more Democrats that are registered than Republican. Those are just names, Steve. They're fraudulent names. <laughs> yes. Democratic voters don't count in Mike Pillow's America. I am on the voter rolls, and they need to be cleaned up. Now you go down to Georgia, everybody, and Georgia, but what an amazing ruling just two weeks ago that the Supreme Court in Georgia said that we have standing, the people have standing. Wow, what a concept. It's our election. You think we shouldn't have standing? Of course. You're not a Georgia voter, fucknut. Of course we should have standing. <laughs> Mike, we, Mike, we got to bounce. How do people get to you? Over oh, but how do they get to you? Like he's new on the, he pays for the fucking show, dum dum. You're about, to, after he leaves, you're going to give a, a, a Mike Pillow promo code. How do they find you on social media? Shut the fuck up. Again, I, I don't stick around for the sales part. It's just aggravating.